Welcome to your mat. Congratulations on making time for yourself. Let's do some yoga, huh? Let's start by laying back on our backs. So first we'll just start to cultivate some peace. All right, that's what the world needs more of right now. So just get nice and cozy here. Find a little length in the back of your neck. Close your eyes down. And start to deepen your breath. And notice that just by becoming aware of your breath and by choosing to slow it down, you're choosing to come into this moment and get out of your head. See if you can find a nice rhythm where your inhale and your exhale are the same length whether that means you're counting it out or not. See if you can breathe so slowly that it's almost like you're not even breathing, like you're not even moving. You're taking such a small, tiny little bit of air at a time. And feel how everything just slows down, your heart, your mind, the world. Notice on each exhale, there's always something else you can let go of and get curious about how much you could really let go. Imagine that the same way you feel the tension leaving your body and your shoulders or your face, the tension is also leaving your mind in the form of limiting thoughts or ideas about yourself. So our intention for practice lately has been, and will be again today, taking this piece with us into our practice, into our movement. Because we've all experienced this piece, but typically once you open your eyes or start to move your body, it dissipates. So today we'll let yoga be the practice of staying in this place of peace while we move our body, that we might learn to stay in this place while we live our lives. So see if you can commit to staying in this place. And then open your eyes just a tiny bit. Don't really try to see anything yet. Just trying not to let your perspective shift that place of peace you found. Trying not to let your mind be distracted by all the things you can see now. Close your eyes and see how quickly you can go right back to that place of peace. And do this a couple times until you feel like you can stay in this place with your eyes open. If at any point during class you need to close the eyes to find this again, you can. Or if you need to come back down to the ground to find it, you should. Let's make it our priority even ahead of the poses or anything else today to stay in this place even if that means you just lay in Shavasana or child's pose the whole time with your eyes closed. All right, today we will be vigilant to find peace, to keep this place at peace. When you feel ready, flutter your eyes open and start to hug your knees into your chest.
we'll start to rock the whole length of our spine. Maybe the toes touch the ground behind your head and you rock all the way up to a seat a couple times. When you're ready, we'll stay in that seat at the top. Root down into the sit bones and imagine inhaling all the way up the spine to the crown and finding a little more space in your body. Exhale, soften the face and the shoulders, settling into that space. Let each inhale help you find a little more length, a little more space. And let each exhale help you find a little more softness. This will give the mind something to do so that you can stay right here in this moment with this breath. Put your hands to your heart. We'll start with the eternal sound of OM. Let your head bow to your heart, close your eyes, and empty all the air. Inhale, fill all the way up. float down and then you know, right back squeeze the palms together lift your heart exhale turn to the right we'll stay for two full breaths let that inhale lengthen let the exhale soften maybe start more breath make it last a little longer find some space find some softness Inhale, come back to center, root down into the sit bones. Inhale all the way up to the fingertips. Exhale, turn and twist to the left. Two full breaths here. After you empty all the air, come back to center, squeeze the palms, reach up, fill up. And exhale, hinge at the hips. Bring the hands to the mat. Let your head become heavy. And get curious about what you need to let go of here. Maybe it's in the form of tension in your body. Maybe it's in your mind. See if you can sink in a little more and take one more really deep, slow breath, rooting back into the sit bones. Softening through the jaw, the tongue, the eyes. And slowly come back up. Now we'll come onto the hands and knees and get a nice tabletop set up with your fingers spread nice and wide. Now start to really engage the arms, creating that external rotation of the upper arms, drawing the elbows in towards each other. Really press into the fingers and the knuckles. Let's actually stretch the wrists out first. So turn the back of the wrists towards the front of the mat. If this already feels like a lot, just breathe here. If you want a little more, you can find a little movement here, rocking side to side, or maybe even a cat-cow motion with the spine. Stay with your breath. If your eyes are open, your gaze stays soft. You're not really trying to see, You're not trying to make things blurry, but kind of a diffused gaze down the nose and nothing at all but also keeping your gaze fixed, not allowing your eyes or your mind to wander. And the gaze steady will help you keep the mind steady. All right, turn those hands back around and root down into the fingers and knuckles. Reach back through the right heel, keeping the toes on the ground. Straight and strong, again, finding external rotation. Find a little more length in the back of the neck. And imagine you could actually lengthen out from your heel to your crown on the inhale. Keeping that length, exhale, what can you soften here? Now spin that right heel down. Let the left foot slide behind you like a little kickstand and roll the right arm straight up towards the ceiling. And then reach the right arm up alongside the ear. Trying to make one nice, long, continuous line through the right side of the body. Root down into the right foot. Scoop the hips forward a little bit. Reach through the fingers. And roll the heart up towards the sky. Drawing the shoulder out of the ear, relaxing through the head and the neck, pressing into the fingers and the knuckles of that left hand. Now reach the right arm straight up and come up. Bring your right hand to your right thigh, reach your left hand up and over. 
Keep those hips scooping forward and the right foot pressing down. Find a little more space on the inhale. Let something go on the exhale. Lower the left hand back down. Lift the right arm and the right leg so everything's parallel to the ground now. Flex the foot, press back through the heel, reach through the fingers. Now come back to your hands and your knees and do a couple rounds of cat-cow. Let the belly drop low, shine the heart forward, take as much air as you possibly can. See how slow you can let that air out. Manually pressing the air out as you draw your belly button up into your spine and around your spine. Same with the inhale. See how long you can hold on to it. Keep your hands engaged. One more. After you empty all the air, come back to that neutral spine, finding length in the back of the neck. Reach back through the left heel, toes on the ground, arms straight and strong, back of the neck long. Find your breath. Find that calf stretch. You press back through the heel a little bit more. Spin the left heel down, slide the right foot behind you like a kickstand. Roll the left arm up towards the ceiling and then reach it up alongside the ear. Plant the left foot down, reach through the fingers, scoop the hips forward, roll the heart up towards the sky as you draw the shoulder out of the ear and reach. Reach the left hand up to lift your whole self up. Left hand, left thigh, right hand up and over. Hips scooping forward, heart roll up towards the sky, reach through the fingers, soften what you can. Lower the right hand down, lift the left leg and the left arm so everything's parallel. Flex the foot, press back through the heel, press down through the right hand and find a little more space. Slowly come back to hands and knees for a few rounds of cat-cow. See how long you can make them last. Notice our tendency is to kind of rush through things, to kind of be in a hurry in life. We're kind of trying to reset those patterns. Kind of the opposite of being in a hurry by making this breath last as long as you possibly can. Like you're in no rush at all for this breath to be over, for this moment to be over. You're really savoring it. After you empty all the air, come back to that neutral spine. Curl the toes under, lift the knees a couple inches, let the head hang down, press into the hands and slowly lift those knees and sit bones up towards the sky. And find a nice long spine. Don't worry about straightening the legs yet. Keep the knees bent, keep pressing through the fingers and knuckles, finding that external rotation of the upper arms, softness through the neck, the shoulders, the tongue. Now press the right heel all the way down, bend the left knee. Keep the arms straight and strong. Keep the belly in. Make sure you're not holding tension in your neck by shaking the head a little bit. Press the left heel down, bend the right knee. Make sure you're pressing into both hands evenly, drawing the shoulders out of the ears evenly. One more time, right heel presses down. And left heel presses down. Come up on your tippy toes and slowly tippy toe forward till your feet come to your hands. Firing up the core at the top. Inhale to lift up halfway and exhale to fold. Shake your head. Drop a little weight into the toes and then back into the heels a couple times. And feel the stretch kind of move up the back of your legs. Let your head hang freely here. Letting go of some of that tension with the hold. Now bend your knees, tuck your chin, inhale here, exhale, slowly round up. Act like your arms weigh a thousand pounds and they're pulling back down towards the ground, but you're rooting down into the feet and slowly coming up to stand. Press down into all four corners of both feet, lift the heart. 
Roll the shoulders down the back. Let them stay there. Let them stay down as you inhale. Reach out and lengthen up. Squeeze the palms together. Find a little more space. Keep all that space as you hinge forward, pressing into the feet, bending the knees if you need to. Lengthen all the way down. Draw the belly in and up so you can fold a little deeper. Inhale, lift up halfway. Fill up all the way. Hold on to it. Plant the hands. Step back to plank and hold. We're going to hold for a while. If you need to lower to the knees, that's okay. Find that external rotation of the upper arms, drawing the elbows in towards each other. Press into the fingers and knuckles, lengthen the back of the neck. Lift the quads up off the knees, press back through the heels. Feel the strength of your body here. Find that place of peace. If you need to close the eyes, you can. We'll stay for a couple more breaths. If you need to lower to the knees, you can. Slowly lower knees, chest, chin. Leave the booty in the air. Take a deep breath into your low back. Maybe you wag the tail a little bit here, dropping the right hip over towards the mat. Moving slowly as you drop the left hip over towards the mat. One more time. Come back to center and flatten out, untuck your toes. And inhale, start to lift your heart up. Soften your face, your tongue, your shoulders, hug your elbows in, reach them back. And let each inhale lift you up a little bit higher. If your low back doesn't feel quite ready for this, let each exhale take you all the way back down to the mat. Otherwise, use your hands to pull your heart forward and let each inhale lift you up and fill you up like a balloon, pressing down to the feet. Maybe you straighten into the arms. Maybe for your last inhale, you look up and reach your chin up, opening the throat. Soften the backside and slowly lower all the way down. Press back to child's pose, curl your toes under. Lift your knees a couple inches, let your head hang. Slowly lift up and back, finding that nice long spine, and then maybe start to straighten into the legs, sinking into the heels. Press into your fingers and knuckles, soften the shoulders out of the ears as you externally rotate those upper arms. Find your breath. Now step your right toes on the back of your left heel to help that left heel down. Try to keep the arms straight and strong so you're not tilted here. Draw the belly in and up, root down to the fingers and knuckles, relax your head and your neck. And release, step the left toes on the back of the right heel. And release, now slowly lower till your elbows and knees almost touch the ground. And then come back up, downward facing dog. You're gonna start to make circular motions. Roll forward into plank, and then lower the elbows and knees down towards the ground as you come back. Then lift up like down dog. Again, roll forward into plank. Lower the elbows and knees down towards the ground. Lift up and back, downward facing dog. One more time, go a little slower. Inhale, roll forward. Exhale, lower almost all the way down. Inhale, lift it up and back. Open mouth, exhale, let it all out. Inhale, lift the right foot up and back. Flex the foot, point the toes down and slightly in to keep your hips level. Press into the hands evenly, see if you can sink into the left heel anymore. Now come up on the left toes and exhale, bring your knee all the way to your nose and step it all the way through. Come on up, crescent lunge, stack knee over ankle. Reach up out of the waist. Press the right knee straight out over that second toe. Draw the right hip back in towards the socket. Find a little more space in your body on the inhale. See what you can let go of on the exhale. All right, plant the left hand down inside the right foot. Roll the right arm up to stack the shoulders. Gaze up at the right hand. Keep pressing the right knee forward and drawing the left heel back. Roll the right shoulder back to open the heart up towards the ceiling. Slowly lower the left knee down, lift your body up. Bring your right hand to your left thigh. 
Keep pressing the right knee forward as the left hand reaches up and back. Lower your hands to frame the foot. Draw the toes back like half splits. Keep your hips in line by drawing that right hip back in towards the socket. Keep your heart lifted like up dog. Keep the belly in and up out of the way. Maybe you start to bend at the elbows, lowering your body down to meet the leg. Lower the right foot down. Shoot the left foot all the way up into standing splits. Let your head hang down, shake it out. Keep your hips level. Reach those toes up as high as you can without opening the hip out to the side. Drop a little weight into the ball of your foot. Slowly come to standing, bring the left knee with you. Hug it in and up. And then cross that left knee over the right. See if you can get your toes to wrap around your calf. All right, sink in a little bit. Bring your arms straight out to the sides and bring your left arm under your right. See if you can get your palms to touch and then sink in a little more, softening what you can. Draw the elbows out and up, soften the shoulders down the back, pull the belly in, lengthen the back of the neck. See how long you can hold on to this inhale, see where you can find space. See how long you can hold on to this exhale, see where you can let go. Find that place of peace, keeping your gaze and your breath steady. And slowly release, bring your hands to your heart, lift the knee up, hinge forward, shoot that leg back till it's parallel to the ground, your torso parallel to the ground too. Flex the foot, point the toes down and slightly in, lengthen from your heel to your crown. Slowly come back into crescent lunge, pressing the knee straight out over the second toe, drawing the right hip back into the socket, reach up out of the waist. Cart with the hands down, shoot the right foot up, three-legged dog, bend the knee and open the hips, try to stack them. Sinking into the left heel more if you can, pressing into the hands evenly and twist. Slowly come back to downward facing dog, inhale, come up high on the tippy toes. Open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Inhale, lift the left leg up, flex it, keep your hips in line. Keep your arms straight and strong, head is heavy. Sink into the right heel a little bit more. And then come up on the toes and exhale, brings the knee to the nose, step it through, crescent lunge. Stack your knee over your ankle on the way up. Reach up out of the waist and sink in. Find more space as you press the left knee forward and the right heel back, as you reach up out of the waist. Find more softness as you let the shoulders drop. Relaxing the jaw, the eyes. Slowly plant the right hand down. Keep pressing the left knee forward. Roll the left arm up, gaze up at it. Roll the left shoulder back to open the heart up towards the ceiling. Use the inhale, what can you lengthen? Use the exhale, what can you soften? Lower the right knee and come up. Left hand finds right thigh. Left knee bends more. Right hand reaches up. Cartwheel the hands down to frame the foot, perhaps splits. Draw the toes back, draw that hip back. Maybe starting to bend at the elbows, belly is in, heart is lifted. And if you've lost that place of peace, close your eyes. If that doesn't bring you right back, come down to child's pose or lying on your back. Make it your intention to stay in this place of peace while we move our bodies today. Slowly lower the left foot down, shoot the right foot all the way up to standing splits. Head is heavy, breath is deep, hips are in line. Slowly come to standing, bring the right knee with you, cross it over the left. Maybe the toes wrap. Arms straight out to the sides, right arm under left, maybe the palms touch. Sink in, draw your upper body back, pull your belly in, elbows out, out and up. So if there's a little wobble, instead of trying to fight it, just soften into that standing knee and ankle more. Keep your gaze steady, that diffused gaze down the nose at, at something or at nothing at all, but not really trying to see anything. Just trying to keep your gaze steady. Trying to stay with this breath just a little bit longer. 
Bring your hands to your heart, lift the knee up, hinge forward, keep your hips in line. As everything gets parallel to the ground, point the toes down and in, lengthen from heel to crown. Find your breath. Slowly step back into crescent lunge, sink in, find all the space. Cartwheel hands down, shoot the left foot high, standing three-legged dog. Bend the knee, open the hips, arms stay straight and strong. Chest stays square to the mat, head is heavy, sink into the right heel and twist. Slowly come back downward facing dog, inhale through the nose, high on the toes. Open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Do that one more time, make it last a little longer. Maybe on the exhale, you stick out your tongue and shake the head and really let it all out. All right, lower the knees and elbows all the way down till they almost touch the ground. Let the core fire up. Slowly come back up, downward facing dog. Inhale, ripple forward into plank. And find your strength here. Find a little more length. Find that place of peace. Giving the mind something to do. Find a little more length and strength on the inhale. And see if you can let go of some of those limiting thoughts on the exhale. Walk or slide the feet back to lower the elbows down to forearm plank. Hands don't move at all. They look just like down dog. Shoulders over elbows, belly drawing in and up. Lift the quads up off the knees. Press back through the heels. See if you can shine your heart forward a little bit by rolling the shoulders back. Now turn and twist and kiss the mat with the right hip. Inhale back through center. Exhale, left hip. Move at your own pace here. Keep your hands actively pressing into the mat. Stay with your breath. Try not to create any tension in your neck and shoulders. Whenever you've had enough, you can lower the belly to the ground, but stay up on the forearms. All right, lower the belly down, untuck the toes, relax the lower body so you're not pressing the feet or the hips into the mat. But keep your hands and forearms actively pulling your belly button and your heart forward to shine the heart forward and roll the shoulders back. Get your chin parallel to the ground. Now really, really slowly, keeping that engagement with your hands of pulling the belly button and the heart forward, turn to gaze over towards your right shoulder. See if you can keep going past your right shoulder all the way back to the feet. See if you can go even past your feet and keep those hands drawing the belly button and heart forward. Use your exhale to soften through the tongue, the eyes, the shoulders. Feel that little space you're creating, breathe into it. And then really, really slowly start to gaze back over the front of the mat. Re-engage the hands to pull everything forward and slowly turn to gaze towards the left shoulder and beyond, back to the feet, and even further if you can, keep those hands pulling the belly button and the heart forward, keep the backside soft, breathe into that space you're creating, and slowly gaze back towards center. Curl the toes under, lift the hips, forearm plank, find the length in your body, then walk the feet in, let the booty go up like dolphin pose. If your head touches the ground for a second just to lengthen there, and then lift it back up as you draw the shoulders out of the ears to shine the heart forward. Find your breath, sink into the heels a little bit. See what you can let go of here. Inhale, lift the right leg up high. Keep your hips in line, so keep the foot flexed. Sink down into the left heel as you press up through the right heel. And switch, plant the right foot down, lift the left foot up. Flex the foot, point the toes down and in, root down into the hands and the arms. Slowly come back. Dolphin pose, lower the knees, come into child's pose and see how quickly you can find that place of peace. Or maybe you never left it, good job. Slow the breath down and recommit for the second half of class to staying in this place of peace for the rest of our practice. So it's easy to think sometimes like, what is wrong with the world? What is wrong with everybody? And sometimes it's harder to look inside and go, oh, I see. There's this battle in every moment of good and evil or head and heart or ego versus 
source, whatever you want to call it, because we have free will. We have to choose in every moment between the light and the dark. It's not enough that we just have good intentions and that we feel like we've already made that decision. It's every moment being vigilant to choose the light. Sometimes I find myself longing for a time or a dimension in which I can just have made the decision and just have it be. And I imagine that that's what we'll get to return to at some point. But I've been trying not to long for that because ultimately what I'm asking for is free will to be taken away. <laughs> but sometimes it feels exhausting. It's like, all right, I'm doing all the right things. Why do I have to in every moment remember to be my best self? <laughs> it's a lot of work. <laughs> it's easy just sometimes to think, oh, I don't have to do all that right now. But it's also easy to see how quickly things can spiral in the wrong direction just by a couple of innocent, unfocused thoughts. But lately, I've been really appreciating the yoga in a different way than I've ever really seen it in. I've seen it as the means to take that dimension of love and light that I always used to only find in my meditation with me into the, all the rest of my life. So recommit here and look at the yoga as just that, as a way to learn to move our bodies from this place of love and light and slowly lift yourself up downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, come up high on the toes, open mouth, exhale, sink into the heels. Inhale, lift your right foot up, keep your foot flexed and your hips in line, keep pressing into the hands. Inhale, come up on the toes. Exhale, bring your right knee to your right armpit. Keep your arms straight and strong, finding that external rotation of the upper arms. Inhale, shoot it back up. Left heel presses down, right heel presses up. Come up on the toes. Exhale, right knee, left armpit. Arms are straight. Press through the knuckles more. Draw the belly in and out. Inhale, shoot it back up. Exhale, knee to nose, step it through, warrior two, press the right knee straight out over the second toe, spin the left heel out and down, and come on up. Press the right knee forward, maybe the right thigh gets parallel to the ground. Press down into all four corners of both feet and reach forward as you reach back. Feel the heart lifting and the shoulders softening. Steady your gaze, steady your breath. Turn the palms to face the long edge of the mat. Turn and twist them till they're straight up and down like a pillar. So we're not gonna bring our right fingers all the way to the ground. If they're touching the ground, lift your left hand up a little higher to lift your whole self up a little higher. Make sure that right knee's still pressing straight out over the second toe. If you need to, use your right elbow to press the right knee back a little bit to keep it stacked over the ankle. Gaze up at the left hand if you can, bringing your chin in close to your shoulder. Find your maximum wingspan, press down into the feet. Scoop the hips forward a little bit. Lift the left hand up another inch and roll that left shoulder back to open the heart up towards the ceiling. Inhale a little more length into the spine, the wingspan, the neck. Exhale a little more softness. Keep the right knee deeply bent. Come all the way up to reverse the warrior. We'll stay for one more breath. Maybe the left hand finds that right thigh. Now bring your hands to your hips and turn your toes to the long edge of the mat and start to hinge forward. Press down into your feet. Let your head become heavy, shake it out. Release the arms down, let them just hang for a second. Grab the elbows and sway a little bit. See if you can rock a little weight into the balls of the feet and lift the quads up off the knees. Release your arms, now grab your left ankle with your right hand. Roll your left arm up towards the sky. Let your head hang down towards the ground. So if you need to bend your knees, it's okay, but bend them evenly so you're not tilted here. All right, roll the left arm back a little more. Maybe back of the hand comes to the small of the back, or maybe you find that right hip. Keep letting the head be heavy as it reaches towards the ground. Soften the shoulders up out of the ears and twist. And release, now sweep the floor towards the right, bending the knee and sweep the floor other direction. Sorry, I might be backwards because I turned around so I wasn't showing you my booty. Sweep the floor one more time in each direction. And then come back to center. Put a little bend in the knees. Bring your hands to your hips and slowly come on up. 
And now turn your toes all the way out. We're trying to stack the knees over the ankles. So we're still trying, maybe you can get the thighs parallel to the ground. See if you can get the knees pressing straight out over those second toes. Now bring your hands to your knees with your thumbs on the inside and rest a little weight here to lift the heart and roll the shoulders back. But make sure your knees didn't change. They're still pressing straight out over those second toes. Now drop the right shoulder down towards the left foot. See how long you can hold on to this breath. Inhale, see what you can lengthen. Exhale, see what you can soften. Slowly come back to center. Lengthen up, fill up, and left shoulder towards right foot. Slowly come back up. Now turn all your toes to face the front of the mat. Find that crescent lunge, sink in here. Plant the left hand down, roll the right arm up. Twist the heart up towards the sky. Roll to the outside of the left foot. Sweep the right foot back, side plank. Press down into the hand to lift up through the hips. Reach the right arm up alongside the ear, lengthen out. Step the right foot behind you, lift the hips up. Lift the heart, relax the head, the face, the neck, and reach through the fingers. Slowly come back to plank and lower through chaturanga. Meeting back in downward facing dog, or you can skip that and just meet in downward facing dog. Find your place of peace, close the eyes if you need to, or drop back down to the ground if you need to. Inhale through the nose, high on the tippy toes. Open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Inhale, lift the left foot up high, keep your hips in line, sink into the right heel. Come up on the toes, exhale, left knee, left shoulder. Arms straight and strong, heart shining forward, shoulders rolling back, back of the neck long. Inhale, shoot it up, right heel presses down. Exhale, left knee, right armpit. Press into the fingers and knuckles, draw the belly in, pull. Slowly come back up, press the right heel down. Come up on the toes, step it through, warrior two, stack knee over ankle, spin right heel out and down and come on up. Maybe the left thigh is parallel to the ground, just like the arms. Gaze out over the left fingers and reach. Use your breath. Keep it steady. Keep your gaze steady. Turn your palms. Turn your arms to lift straight up and down. Keep pressing down into the feet. Create this triangle between your body, your arm, and your leg. If it's collapsed, just reach your right hand up a little higher. Keep pressing the left knee straight out over the second toe, maybe pressing the left knee back with the left elbow, gaze up at the right hand, reach the right hand up a little higher, roll the right shoulder back, scoop the hips towards the long edge of the mat, find your breath, use the inhale to lengthen, and the exhale to soften, keep the left knee deeply bent, come all the way up to reverse it, maybe right hand finds left thigh, left knee still pressing straight out over second toe. Bring your hands to your hips and straighten your lip, turn your toes in towards each other, wide leg forward fold. Press down into the feet. Bend your knees if you need to. Lengthen forward. Grab your elbows again. Shake your head a little bit. Sway a little bit. Start to rock some weight into the balls of the feet as you lift those quads up off the knees to lift the sit bones up and back. Lower your hands down. Walk them back behind you with your fingers pointing back away from you. And start to pull your head down towards the ground, tipping your weight into the balls of your feet. If you would like to can if your head comes to the ground and you can start to lift the feet with no momentum feel free to go on up stay with your breath find that place of peace even if you're upside down slowly come back down Bringing your hands under your shoulders. Little bend in the knees, bring your hands to your hips and slowly come on up. Turn all your toes to face the front of the mat. Find that crescent lunge, sink in. Plant the right hand down, roll the left arm up, twist the heart open. Roll to the outside of the right foot, sweep the left foot back, side plank. Lift the hips a little higher, bring the left arm up alongside the ear. Step the left foot back and reach through the fingers. See what you can let go of on the exhale. Slowly come back to plank and lower through chaturanga. 
Meeting back in downward facing dog. Inhale through the nose, up high on the toes. Open mouth, exhale, sink into your heels. Step your right foot in halfway between your left foot and your hands. Stay up on the ball of that foot. Kick the left foot up and see if you can float the right toes off the ground an inch or two. Make this more about the strength in your arms than getting upside down. Finding that external rotation of the upper arms. Stay with your breath. Keep your face soft. And then switch. Step the left foot in halfway. Stay on the ball of the foot. Kick the right foot up. And whenever you're finished playing here, we'll find a child's pose and see how quickly you can get right into that place of peace. So I think a lot of people really do believe that what's going on right now in the world is demanding us, demanding humans to slow down a little bit and find more peace within. Maybe it's true. Maybe nothing's going to go back to normal until we get the message loud and clear. We're really powerful beings and our thoughts have the capacity to create way more than we could ever really understand. I know a lot of people that can find this place of peace or this place where they can manifest when they're sitting in meditation. But then they're like, well, at some point I gotta go do something. I gotta be productive. So they'll leave that place of peace to go run around and try to make something happen because that's what we're taught to do or what we need to do to be productive or successful. But what if nothing we do is really productive if we don't come from this place of peace? What if no matter how good our intentions are, if we're all just kind of adding to the chaos, unless we can learn to move our bodies from this place of peace? Okay, recommit for our last part of class to staying in this place. You can keep your eyes closed if it helps. We're gonna come on up for camel pose. So stack the hips over the knees. Bring your hands to your low back. Maybe you put your fingers up at the sky. Wrap your elbows a little closer together back there. And find an internal rotation of the thighs and squeeze imaginary block together in your thighs. Press the hips forward, lift the heart, and start to go back. If it's too much on your neck, just keep the chin drawing in towards your chest, but keep going back and lifting through the heart. Soften through the tongue, the eyes, the shoulders, the jaw, and let go. Slowly come up, bring your knees together, and sit your hips on your heels. Slide your hands down to your knees. Tuck your tailbone all the way under. Tuck your chin all the way to your chest and curl into the tightest little ball. Slowly come on up, stacking hips over knees. We'll do two more sets. Maybe on this set, you want to grab one heel and lift the other arm up and do the other set on the last one. But first, set it up. Bring your hands to your low back, wrap your elbows back, squeeze the block, press your hips forward, lift your heart. And then maybe you grab for that right heel, reaching the left arm up for counterbalance. Soften behind the eyes, soften the tongue, the shoulders, the face, and let go. On an inhale, come back up, knees together, hips to heels, hands to knees. Tuck it all in really tight. You can stay here if you like, or you can wave the spine out a little bit. We'll slowly come up for our final set of camel. Spreading the knees as wide as the hips. Back, 
elbows wrap back, squeeze the block, press the hips forward, lift the heart up. Maybe grabbing for that left heel now, reaching the right arm up. On an inhale, come up, bring your knees together. Sit your hips on your heels. Your feet are together, knees are together. Now grab your heel with your thumb on the outside. Lean back a little bit. Tuck your chin to your chest and roll into a tight little ball, trying to touch your forehead to your knees. Trying to touch the top of your head to the mat right in front of your knees. And then roll forward onto the top of your head. You don't want too much weight on the neck here, so pull on the heels more and lift the hips more. Breathe into that space behind your heart and fill it all the way up and then take another little sip. On the exhale, soften through the eyes, the tongue, shoulders, mind. And see how long you can make these last two breaths last. And slowly come back up. We'll sit onto the left hip and straighten the right leg out. Making this 90 degrees with your legs, pressing the sole of that foot into the thigh. See if you can lift the right heel up off the ground, drawing the toes back towards the face. Inhale, reach the arms up. Turn the body to face out over that right leg, and then lengthen out, grabbing whatever you can here. If you can, keep that heel up off the ground, and the quad rooting down into the mat, lifting through the heart and the crown. Soften through the face and shoulders, start to pull the heart towards the foot. Stay with your breath. If your eyes are open, your gaze is soft and steady. And see if you can notice that anytime a thought comes up, it's a temptation to come out of this present moment, to come out of this place of peace. And no matter how innocent it seems, it's your mind trying to convince you there's something better you should be doing than cultivating this peace. And see if you can choose to stay right here in this moment with this breath, with this intention. Now drop your right elbow right inside your right knee and bring your left hand onto your shoulder to help you roll that shoulder back and roll the heart up towards the ceiling. If you can, keep that right heel lifted and toes drawing towards the face. Now reach the left arm up and over. Now use leverage of your elbow against your knee to roll the heart up towards the sky, drawing the elbow back, and then reach through the fingers. Feel that space you're creating in your left side. See if you can take air there and fill it up. Slowly come back up and switch. Straighten the left leg out. Bring the right foot in. Make your 90. Kick through the heel. Maybe lift it off the ground. Inhale. Reach up. Turn to face the leg, lengthen out, grab what you can, keep that heel lifted if you can, pressing the quad down, lift the heart up and then reach it towards the foot. Soften the tongue, the eyes, the mind, use your breath. Bring that left elbow inside the left knee, right hand onto the shoulder to roll it back. Right hand reaches up and over. Draw the elbow back, reach through the fingers, relax your head and your neck. Use that leverage, create that space. Breathe into it. Slowly come back up. Now bring both feet flat on the ground in front of you and lift the feet up, coming into boat pose. You can keep a hold of the back of your knees. You can straighten the arms and the legs. Squeeze your legs together, reach out through the balls of the feet. Pull the belly in, lift the heart, soften your face. Inhale, lengthen out to a hover. Keep kicking out through the heels, everything just a couple inches off the ground. Exhale, come back up. Keep hugging everything in towards center line. Move slow and controlled with your breath. Whenever you've had enough, just roll back onto your back and hug your knees into your chest.
Okay, hug your knees into your chest. Rocking side to side across the spine. You find a happy baby. Tuck the chin a little bit. Now try to get the lower vertebrae in the butt on the ground here. And if it feels good, you can rock side to side. Or if you want, you can hook the peace sign fingers around the big toes and straighten the legs out wide to the sides. Keep your chin slightly tucked and your shoulders softening down towards the mat. Trying to keep that lower vertebrae and booty on the ground. Hug your knees into your chest. We're gonna roll back into a plow pose. See if you can get the toes to touch the ground behind your head. You can keep your hands on your low back for support if you like, or you can interlace your fingers back behind you, maybe even gluing the palms together as you draw the hands down into the mat. Now soften through the eyes, the tongue, the shoulders, the jaw, and let go a little bit. Once you let go a little bit, this pose will change. It'll be less about the neck and more about the curve in your spine. Maybe you can walk those toes back a little further. Bring your hands to your low back, creating a shelf for your hips as you straighten the legs up towards the ceiling, stacking the hips over the shoulders and the feet over the hips. Zip your legs together, reach up through the balls of the feet and lift your feet a little higher to make things a little lighter. Stay with your breath. If your eyes are open, soften your gaze, steady your gaze. Slowly come back into plow pose and see if you can get right into softening. See how long you can make this breath last. See what you can let go of. Reach your hands forward, press down into your palms, and as slow as you can go, one vertebrae at a time rolls down to the ground. Feel some little micro adjustments happening as you realign your spine. Once your booty touches the ground, flex those feet, draw the toes towards you, kick out through the heels, Keep squeezing your legs together. We'll take 20 more seconds to lower the legs all the way down. Pressing out through the heels, tucking the chin a little bit, soften through the face, the neck, the shoulders. 10 more seconds, keep kicking through the heels. If you wanna pop up into a fish at the end, you can slide the hands underneath of you, palms face down. Press down into the elbows to lift the heart. Reaching the crown of the head towards the mat. Zip the legs together, reach out through the balls of the feet, press down to the elbows to lift the heart. Maybe the legs lift too. And release, hug your knees into your chest. Lower your feet down flat on the ground, cross your right knee over your left. Bring your arms straight out to the sides, palms facing up. Shift your hips to the right and lower the knees to the left. Maybe the right toes sneak around that left calf and you gaze out over the right hand. If your knee is not all the way to the ground, maybe the left hand wants to help it all the way down. Now see if you can make that breath last seven, eight, maybe even nine or 10 seconds. Close your eyes. Soften through the tongue and the face. And use our last couple opportunities here to really let go of that tension in your shoulders and your spine, the tension in your mind in the form of limiting thoughts or ideas. Notice how it's all kind of the same. And invite yourself to let go just a little bit more. Slowly come back to center, hug your knees into your chest. Lower your feet down flat, cross the left knee over, arms straight out, palms up, hips to the left, knees to the right. 
Gaze out over the left. Maybe right hand helps the knee all the way down. Relax. Notice how with every exhale, there's still more to let go of. And get curious about how much you could really let go here. Slowly come back to center and hug your knees into your chest one last time. And let your legs go long on the mat. Spread your feet as wide as the mat. Let your toes fall open. Close your eyes down. Imagine the level of peace you're able to access right now gets to be felt by all the world. See if that inspires you to let go just a little bit more. Imagine that if you could just let go all the way, that there would be peace in the world. See if you can give yourself permission to let go just a little bit more than you ever have. Invite a deeper breath back into your body. And invite the deepest part of yourself to awaken. Imagine there's a part of you deep inside that's been asleep. That's just now choosing to join the party. As you open your eyes just a little bit and start to wiggle your fingers and your toes, imagine it's the first time this part of you has ever felt this sensation of having a body or seen through these eyes. Imagine that this part of you is vigilant for peace. And that's why they were asleep. There wasn't quite enough peace inside for them to want to join the party. But now there is. 
and see if you can imagine this as a new beginning, seeing with new eyes. Resisting every temptation your mind would throw at you to come out of this moment. Realizing that the only way we can be vigilant for peace is by staying in this moment. When you're ready, slowly roll over onto your right side. And remember, this is not the end of your practice. This is the beginning. This was just to set the stage to get you in this place. Now the real practice is seeing how long you can stay in this space, seeing if you can take this peace with you out into the world. When you feel ready, come on up to a seat. Find a nice tall spine, inhaling from the sit bones all the way up to the crown. Bring your hands to your heart. Let your head bow to the wisdom of your heart. Lift the thumbs to the space above the eyebrows and take a moment to thank yourself for coming, for showing up. May all beings everywhere be free from pain and suffering. May our thoughts and actions in some way contribute to that. Namaste. Namaste.